you're playing with the white pieces and it's your move. Only one move in this position wins for whites. What are you going to play? Well, this is a very tricky position. And with like any pawn and king endgame, it's important to get your king in front of your pawn as quickly as possible. For this reason, king f2 actually draws the game here. Because if play continues with king to g7 and both kings come up, black actually gets the opposition. Let's see what happens if play continues. Then we check king d6, king d4 and black actually still has the opposition. White may continue on, but eventually it will get to this position with d7 check, king d8 and king d6 is just a complete draw. In fact, what white should play is king to e2 to outflank their opponent. After king g7, we play king to d3. After king to f6, king c4. The point is after king to e6 is king to c5. Now white has the opposition and is in front of their pawn. After king to d7, white regains the opposition. After king c7, you play king to e6. After king d8, you play king to d6. It's king to e8, king c7, and it's an easy win for white, securing the queen, and this will be an easy win.